Well, good morning. I apologize in advance for the terrible pronunciations of French words you're gonna hear in this video. But today I'm heading to a city called Trois Rivières. Now this is an area of Quebec that when I tell people I'm going, they kind of ask, why? And I'm gonna find out. I have no idea what's there. I hear it's very pretty. Um, I might try and do some outdoor stuff, but I don't know. This is just my chance to get away for the weekend. My beautiful girls come next week, so this is my last solo traveling weekend. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see what's there. Take you along with me. Let's check out the Rivieres. <laughs> First thing on the agenda is a two hour bus ride. Now I've never caught a bus in Montreal before, so I've come down to the Gare de Autocars de Montreal. I apologized ahead of time. I don't know what this experience is gonna be like, but yeah, two hour bus ride out there, and then we'll uh, see what we find. Well, bienvenue à Trois Rivières. Trois Rivières in English means three rivers, and it's kind of the meeting point of a couple of different rivers here. This city was founded in 1634 and was the second settled city in Quebec after Quebec City. Now, it kind of forms the midpoint between Montreal and Quebec City, so I guess when people drive between those two destinations, which probably takes about four hours, they kind of stop here at Trois Rivières for lunch or whatever it is. You know, friends from Montreal meet friends from Quebec City here in Trois Rivières. And so I have no idea what's going to be here. To be honest, I haven't done any research at all. I know you can do outdoor stuff. I know you can like do kayaking and that's what I'm going to try and do at some point. But otherwise, I don't know what's here. I can see a beautiful church steeple towering over the city just behind the camera here. I'm going to go try and find where that is. Otherwise, I don't know. Let's go. Let's explore. This is what I love to do. So we're going to go explore Trois Rivières. I hope people speak English here. I have a feeling this is going to be harder to communicate, but we will see. Let's go explore and um, see what we find. This cute little community garden. That was a great meal. Okay, so an interesting twist in the exploration saga. My waiter just told me that there's a Grand Prix here in Trois Rivières they have every year, and it happens to be this weekend. Suddenly it's like I could go and watch a motor race, which is something I love. So I might decide to check that out a bit later. Anyway, for now I'm gonna check out the old town and we'll see what's there, and then um, time allows, I might go and see a race. We'll see. Two things I love about Trois Rivières so far. One, everyone is really friendly. Like I don't know if people are just drunk and they're talking to me because they're drunk or they're just really friendly. I don't know. And number two, there's free Wi-Fi around the whole city. I think that's really, really cool for visitors. Park over here. You can always rely on a good small town to have a beautiful big church in the center of it. So apparently there was a fire here in 1907, which took out most of the city. So I think most of what you see here is not the original construction, it's obviously been rebuilt. Um, but the fire didn't take out everything. There's still a couple of things around and I'm trying to find them. So uh, I saw a beautiful dome on the horizon, which I'm gonna go try and find. And then um, we'll see what else kind of sparks my interest. Here's the dome, I'm trying to find it.
back down. I went down to the water. I tried to find that church, so I think I went down here, down, came down here to the church, and now I'm here. Okay, it looks like I've almost done all of the old city. I guess like this area here I can do. Okay. Here's the plan. I'm gonna go and check out this old part of town just a little bit more, explore that a bit. Then I'm gonna go back to the hotel. It's really, really hot outside, so I'm just gonna take an hour or so just to chill in some AC. And then I guess I'm gonna go to the racing thing. I mean, what are the chances I'm in town when something I love is on? So I guess I gotta do it. So to do that, I will come back down here and I will walk down Rue de Forge all the way down here and then it's over here somewhere. So I guess that sounds like a plan. It's what I love about exploring though, right? Like I had no agenda coming in today and surprise, surprise, there's a there's a racing event on and like just stuff like that. Like that's why that's why you travel, right? You just do it, get out of your comfort zone, do things you wouldn't normally do and um, I love it. Today is turning out to be a good day. See you guys in just a moment. All right, went back to the room for about half an hour, FaceTimed the love of my life, and now I guess I'm gonna head to that racing track. I dove into the map pretty deeply. I feel like I've been everywhere in the old town. So I guess nothing left to do but go watch some cars race around the track. This is awesome. I mean, I love motorsports and it just so happens I'm here this weekend. So I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna walk back down the strip that has all the restaurants, all the food. Uh, and then uh, I believe about 20 minutes later, I should arrive at the circuit. So here we go. <laughs> All right, I got a ticket. So this is the Trois Rivières Grand Prix, and this is some sort of race going on. I don't, don't know if this is the Star Race or a feeder series. Those cars are loud. <laughs> commentary is in French so I actually have no idea what's going on. It's obviously racing but I don't know if this is the main race or what's going on. It's still good to watch. They come around this corner super fast. Man it's hot today. Slush puppy keeping me cool. This race seems to be just like super average cars. I saw like a bunch of Nissan kicks in there and like Toyota Camrys. Just going as fast as they can, it's pretty funny. Here they come. Salut, bonjour. Grand Prix, mais on sait rien sur les voitures. On est là pour gambler, mais on sait pas quel numéro pour gambler. Tu me suggères quoi, vous? That's good, that's for my French crowd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's perfect. French. perfect. I'm I need sorry, that. Man. I need that. I'm sorry. You good need to, to meet practice, you, dude. right? <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. I can't speak English with you. <laughs> okay. Well, that's enough noisy cars for me today. That was cool. That was a fun experience. I'm definitely a diehard Formula One fan specifically, but still a great experience. I'm glad I discovered that. I didn't expect anything like that here in Trois Rivières. I'm gonna head back into town, probably grab some dinner, head to the hotel. But hey, I'm always open for anything. Let's see what we find. And I am so sweaty. It's a really hot day and I've been walking non-stop. So it's just dripping, it's just flowing. 
there comes a point of sweatiness where you just don't even care anymore. It's just like I'm just drinking my sweat, it's just dripping along, doing its thing. Why should I fight it? You know, I just gotta embrace it. But sitting in that air-conditioned hotel room will work a treat in an hour or so. So I just FaceTime my wife. She is at a gender reveal party for some of our best friends. They're having boys. Whoop whoop! That's what they wanted, so I'm super, super stoked for them. I'm gonna find some dinner. Every restaurant back there was pretty much completely full. And I it really, I'm so sweaty, I just want to get something to go home. So I'm gonna try to find something to eat. I passed a couple of takeaway places before. Um, I don't think I'm any good, but I'll probably just grab something from there, head back to the room. Let's see what we find. Okay, don't judge me. But you know, sometimes even when you're traveling, you just want familiar taste. Sometimes you want a Big Mac, sometimes you want a Diet Coke, and sometimes you just want. Merci. Au revoir. Just go back to the room. It is so nice and cool. Check this out. It's super sweet. This is a nice hotel. They gave me a little like handwritten message saying thanks for staying here and they give me some chocolates of some sort. So cute. You can see how sweaty my face is. I'm gonna cool off, have my food, and then just chill. Like it's been a big day of walking around, early bus ride this morning. Tomorrow I'm gonna to explore a bit more. I have two things kind of planned, nothing booked, but kind of roughly planned. We'll see how that goes, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. I had a great night of sleep at the Delta Hotels Marriott here in Trois Rivières. I'm a sucker for chain hotels. I like them, I like the familiarity about them. I know I shouldn't, I know I should try boutique hotels in each place I go, but just something so familiar about Marriott's. And I don't know. Anyway, it's kind of windy today, so I hope you guys can hear me. I'm gonna try and rent a kayak and paddle down one of the rivers. We'll see how that goes. I know there's a rental place probably about half an hour from here and there's also kind of a part of town that I have not yet explored, more of the waterfront on the east side. So we're going to go do that this morning. And then if time allows, I hear there's a really nice kind of, um, what do you call it, like a, like a day spa, like a sauna, like a, like a Japanese style onsen. I don't know how you describe that. But with like pools you can spend the day in, lounges you can relax on. If time permits, you can check that out. But anyway, for now, let's go hunting for a kayak and probably some breakfast. Let's go. Not a lot happening at 8 a.m. on a Sunday around here. These streets are uh, pretty empty. The street is so pretty. Fun. I'm glad I did it. Right now I'm gonna go to the Nordic Spa and get some R&R &R, baby. I'm just gonna lie there in the hot tub or the cold tub or whatever it happens to be. It's about an hour and a half walk from here so I've decided to take the easy route and call an Uber. So Uber is on the way. I'm gonna head to the spa, hopefully grab some lunch there as well. And um, I mean that's kind of it for my last thing to do in Trois Rivières. And then my bus comes at like 5 p.m. So let's see what happens. All right, let's, uh, let's find out. Good, good. Can I come to your spa? Yes, of course. Yes. This is pretty cool. It's just a place you can just hang out for the day and I guess you leave all your stuff in the lockers, you go in the pools, you chill, you nap. Yeah. 
living like a king. Yeah, that's enough spa time for me. Bonjour. Bonjour. So this whole street was pumping last night. It's completely empty right now. I guess the rains chased people away. See, all these restaurants are still closed. Anyway, that about does it for me here in Trois-Rivières. Great spot to spend a weekend. You could do it in just a couple of hours. Or you don't need a whole weekend here, but I had a great time. It's a beautiful city. Tons of stuff to do, tons of places to see. And uh, I'm gonna head to the bus and make my way back into Montreal. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you in the next one.